Alrighty, Sagittarius, so this is going to be a reading for December 24th through the 31st. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. This is going to be a general reading, so it will not apply to every Sagittarius. Make sure you guys check out my other videos if you'd like to see a full on message if you do have other placements and other signs, okay? Um, also... Make sure you guys check out my description box if you're interested in getting a personal reading or to check out the extended version of this reading on my Patreon. All that information is going to be there for you to find. And let's see what's going on with you guys for this week, okay? So what's going on my Sagittarius? So... A lot of you guys are laying some situations to bed this week, okay? Coming to terms with the fact that it ended and realizing that, okay, it was good while it lasted or some of you guys are in a space of realizing the lessons you're supposed to receive from other relationships that you were in. Watch your food intake this week. Especially if you're going out a lot. Okay. Um, a car just fell. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so... Yes, watch your food intake. Also... Watch, watch how much energy you're giving to situations, like how much energy you're giving to situations that don't deserve it, and also just how much you're showing up for things that really don't matter, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, this week, I feel like there is some sort of reunion that's coming into play. Um, one person may not be open for it, okay? One person may not be on board to hear what the other person has to say or there's going to have to be real convincing if somebody's trying to come back into your life or if you're trying to go into somebody else's life. But definitely some sort of reunion trying to come into fruition. Yeah, you guys are going to have some sort of conversations this week around people. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of uncomfortable conversations this week, especially if you're spending the holidays with family. They're going to ask you some questions about, like, what you have going on, okay? Just being nosy. Some of you guys are in the the process of getting a divorce and you're waiting for the divorce papers to come in or you receive the divorce papers and it's like now you're trying to stay hopeful but it's like you're kind of at the point where it's like okay well what's the point of being hopeful I'm also seeing something here about yeah some of you guys are ending ending marriages for others of you, there may be like some sort of affair thing that may have happened. And because of that, this is why the relationship is ending. But there is a, a really <laughs> big focus on love this week, guys. And I haven't even gotten into love. There's a big focus on that this week. I feel like a lot of you guys also are needing to get more in touch with your spiritual side seeing maybe a priest or somebody who can help you with some spiritual work um as far as like what's going on with you guys and yeah i really feel like you guys are having some interesting energy i'm gonna pull some more cards from this deck to see what other messages are coming through we're using the rebel deck this is the original version. What's going on with my Sagittarius for December 24th through 31st? Alright, so the card that flew out at me is a lightning bolt. And on the back it says, figure shit out on your own. 
okay? I'm going to pull one more card from this deck. Give me one more card for my Sagittarius. And the card that we have, okay, so it's a step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spiruluna, spiru, spirulina, <laughs> it tastes like ass. <laughs> what? Eat some yummy stuff. Okay, so, all right, no. Now we can talk about this. So, back to what I was saying about the eating thing. I really feel like with this card coming out, because I look at the cards deeper than the surface meaning, with this, I feel like you guys are needing to stay away from eating like crazy things, okay? For others of you, it could be that issue, but um, for others of you, it could just be like overeating and just like really enjoying yourself, but eating to the point where it's like you're not really paying attention because that may be an issue in the future with weight and yeah, so I just I had to warn you guys, okay? But um... Overall, you guys need to be in control of your own life this week, okay? And yeah, there may be some shocking stuff coming out or some shocking realizations that, okay, yeah, maybe you do need to take more of, you know, more control within your situation, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some more cards from this deck to see what's going on with you guys for this week. So let's see what's going on with you guys. So right off the bat, a lot of you guys are feeling the sense of like missed opportunities, okay? Either missed opportunities or yeah, just missed opportunities. You guys could be also coming out of this this the space of discontentment with things and trying to gain more balance and trying to also make things right okay especially if you did miss some sort of opportunity in love finances whatever it may be for others of you there also may be some sort of legal case here that's causing some 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 issues here okay I have the strength card in reverse. So I feel like also there's issues with you guys keeping keeping that strength, okay? Keeping keeping things together emotionally. Um you also may be dealing with a situation where somebody who you're dealing with is feeling like they can no longer deal with it. They can no longer take it. So I am seeing the anxiety here. I am seeing that you guys are racking your brain. Staying up at night, thinking about somebody, thinking about circumstances. But the reason why this is happening, especially with the hangman being here, is because you are really the cause of it. And before you guys get mad at me, let me explain. You guys are the cause of this stalemate energy because you guys are needing to see things from a different perspective, okay? When it comes to making things right, when it comes to getting balance within your situation, it's all about perspective. It's all about how you're looking at it. And if you're not looking at your situation the correct way, you won't know how to act accordingly, okay? But there is an opportunity to fix that, even though you did kind of missed some opportunities in the past, okay, or missed your mark, there is an opportunity to fix that. But are you going to see it from the right perspective? You got the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like if this is speaking about in a money sense, this is all about, again, your perspective. 
You want things to be done right. You want things to go a different way. But are you even being strong enough to change it? The only thing you can do now moving forward is to look at the practical things. Look at how you can bring a sense of stability within your relationships, within your finances, within what you guys have going on here. And then go for it. And that's easier said than done. I know you're upset about what happened in the past. I know you're upset. But what you have to do is move forward. You can't stay in this energy forever. Okay? You got to boss up and you have to step into your, your energy. And focus on these changes, okay? But, um... I'm just going to tie it all together. You're going to keep missing opportunities if you don't walk away from this fear. This fear and also this level of not looking at things from a different standpoint. Okay, especially when it comes to your future. And what you want to manifest. And also taking action, okay? Being practical, like I said, guys. Being practical and no longer self-deceiving yourself about maybe your financial situation or about what you need. Because you may not be getting what you need right now. And you're sacrificing your mental well-being and also... For some of you guys taking it back and we're speaking about in a relationship sense not getting your just due within a relationship whether that's equal give and take whether that's cheating whether that's not getting the stability that you need whether that's arguments whether that's not being able to control yourself when it comes to those arguments okay but with the two of cups in reverse guys in the temperance it's about you now it's about you gaining that balance for yourself, okay? And you're going to keep encountering this problem in relationships if you don't work on you. You got to work on you. This is <laughs> this is crazy. This reading is tying in, but you got to work on you, okay? Self-improvement. Or you're just going to keep putting effort into situations and not getting any sort of growth, okay? So, let's see a little bit of what's going on with your cross watcher. And then, like I said, we are going to go on the other side to see more in depth what's going on with you guys on Patreon. Where we'll look at you and your partner's side and go more, you know, in detail. So they're feeling this. And these cards literally came back out. So they know the relationship's not working. But they want to bring balance to it. And they want you to also be more balanced. And put more work into the relationship. Show them that you're putting effort in. And that they're not wasting their time. They're trying to be patient with you, okay? There may be an opportunity for you guys to speak this week. Um, but there's no real relationship that's going to come into fruition if things are not put in place. As far as the morals within the relationship or things being done correctly within a marriage for some of you guys, okay? And I feel like this person's in a state of like realizing, okay, some things are not morally right within my relationship, okay? But right now, some things are needing a shift before any sort of love offer can be accepted, okay, guys? So we're going to go more in depth, like I said, on the other side. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this resonated, make sure you leave a, you leave, excuse me, a like, comment, and you subscribe. And I will see you beautiful Sagittarius next week. Bye, guys.